Hey everyone, this is Narin and welcome back to a new session of English with me. Today, we are going to dive into a crucial skill that can super change your English learning journey. Effective note-taking techniques. Yes, you might be wondering what note-taking can change in your English learning journey. What effect can uh, a note changing bring into your English learning journey? You might have heard me telling many times like go grab your notebook and pen or grab any notepad or whatever you want to write in go and grab it immediately. You might be thinking what is the use of writing all this? What can it change in your learning journey? How can it make you a fluent English speaker? Here I am bringing you all the answers for those questions and helping you to write the notes effectively so that you can learn English very easily. It can be very useful for you. You know what? I always used to write notes. Still, I write notes. Let me talk about me. I usually write notes for everything. You know, I want everything to be organized. When I'm getting ready for a video, I'll just note down the points that I'll be speaking so that I don't forget the important points. Or when I am um, what planning for the videos, I'll just make a list. I'll uh, just write the topics that I'll cover in the coming week or in the coming month. Not only for learning English, you can arrange your life in an order if you start writing those notes, if you keep a note for yourself. I have different kinds of notes and I'm very attracted to these stationary items, you know, the books and pens and I really love different kinds of books like with uh, pictures on it and all. And I buy a lot of books. I really love them and I use them for those activities. Okay, now let's leave all that. I got carried away in the topic. Let's look how can you properly take notes and learn English. First, you need a notebook and a pen. Let's set up your notebook. The front page. Dedicate the front page for uh, your goals and you know reason why you're learning English. You can also write some motivational quotes or something that inspired you so that it will be a motivation for you. If you feel down, if you feel like you uh, don't want to learn English today, just read it. It can freshen up your mind and can give you that energy to start learning English. In the next page, you know, the index page, just uh, write down where you can find what. I know you cannot number all the pages, but just uh, write um, like one uh, is for grammar, two for vocabulary, three for uh, story, like that number down in the index page. You can also use those sticky notes, those small tiny sticky notes and you can place it on different sections, the different colored sticky notes and place it on different sections so that you can easily um, take that page. You might be wondering, these are very childish and what difference can it bring? It can actually make you feel good about yourself. You are arranging everything and you are making your book look good and it's like you are loving what you are doing. To learn English, you need to love learning English. This way, you are making yourself understand that you love learning English. You are giving efforts to learn English. The second one is organizing by sections. Let the first section be vocabulary. Write the heading vocabulary. In the content, write new words that you come across. You are reading, listening, watching English. So you will come across a lot of new words. What you have to do is you need to write these words in this book in this particular section under the vocabulary. First, number it. Write the number one and write the word, then its definition. Also, write its pronunciation in your native language, of course, or if you want, you can write it in English and write its pronunciation. It's important to pronounce the word properly then an example sentence and if you can or if you want you can write its synonyms and antonyms that's your wish if you want to learn more words with a single word you can write the antonyms and synonyms along with the a uh, new word in the second section include grammar write the heading grammar 
in the content write the explanation of a particular grammar topic write the rules and also write the examples it's important write examples for each rule like if you are talking about am is are write examples for each of the word for one for am one for is one for are like that write for each send each word so that you won't forget any rules let the next section be phrases and idioms you might have come across new sentences new phrases even i have explained and i have made videos including new phrases that you can use in your daily life so write those phrases write the heading phrases and idioms write the meaning of each phrase or idiom and also if you can try to write in which situation you can use it you know all the phrases cannot be used everywhere so try to write the situation where you can use each phrase now you need to practice writing english for that let's move on to the next section daily practice routine here you will write your daily entries write today's date and the words that you come across the new words that you came across and uh, the sentences with that word or any phrases that you came across also write about new grammar rules and examples and any new sentences with that grammar rules so this will be your daily entries daily you need to write about the new word and the sentences and the grammar that you learned you need to review what you learned each week so this will be very easy for you if you date it and if you write it you can by the end of each week you can revise this you can go through what all you learned by this way you will have that words and sentences in your memory for a very long time so to fix it in your mind review it every week the next section is using visual aids a movie will be there in your mind for long more than a book that you read you know why visualization visually seeing something can be uh, fixed in your mind more easily so use simple drawings or mind maps to connect your new words or grammar rules you can use your imagination here however you can i don't mind whatever way you are learning english draw something that can help you understand the concept that can help you remember the concept more easily also use different highlights and colors you know uh, you can uh, underline uh, the important points with a different colored pen or pencil in a sentence you can highlight nouns in other sentences you can highlight the verbs with different colors and this can be visually uh, very appealing and can be very easy to learn so try drawing pictures with the new words and the uh, grammars and the phrases that you learned in english so guys this is a short idea about how you can make your notebook more effective in learning english how can you create an english world in your notebooks and can help you learn english faster can help you speak english easily so guys this is all for today i hope this video was useful for all of you and you will start following these points to learn english effectively I really want you all to learn English effectively faster without wasting your time. You are taking an effort to learn English. I want you all to get the results for the effort that you put in. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back with a new video soon. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Bye.